Hi everyone, it is Kristen. Welcome back for another DIY video. Today's video is going to be all about needlepoint for beginners. So I am partnering up with needlepoint.com. They are the sponsor of today's video. They've sent out this beautiful needlepoint kit. It's a little beehive with some flowers going around it. It is so cute and I just love the packaging. I love everything about it. So I'm so excited to show you what's inside of this box today, as well as walk you through just some beginner tips and tricks to getting started with needlepoint. Needlepoint.com is loaded with resources and products and things if you are interested in needlepoint and getting started with needlepoint or getting back into needlepoint. They have how-to videos on their website and on their YouTube channel. I'll put links to both of those in the description box down below step-by-step -step tutorials and things like that. They also have complete kits. So these, this needlepoint kit comes with everything that you need to complete your needlepoint. And in addition to needlepoint kits, they also sell just the canvases. So if you already have thread or yarns that you want to use, or you already have a supply or certain colors or whatever that you want, you can go on their website and just order the canvases, the printed canvases that have the design already on there for you, just to make your life a lot easier. Needlepoint.com was kind enough to give me a coupon code to pass on to you guys. I'll have it in the description box down below Below and on the screen here, but if you enter the code raising nobles, it will get you 15% off your order. All right, let's take a look inside this adorable little box and see what's in here. So first of all, look at the box. It's so, so cute. This would make such a fun gift for someone. I love that the box is magnetic. Isn't that fun? All right, so inside we have the little Kit. and I'm just gonna open this little bag here. So in here, it looks like there's a needle threader in here, so that will be helpful. And then look at all these beautiful yarns. Look at, oh, this is great. Okay, this is awesome. So look, there's like a little color code card. This is so neat. So there's a color code card here, so you know that color one is the tan, and two is the brown and on like that. And um, so this, okay, cool. So this is where it has everything. This tells you the stitches and all of that that you're gonna be using. Uh, and then the colors, of course, so those match up with the colors on the color card. All right, let's see what is all in here. So you have your photo, and then this is talking about the stitch. So this particular kit uses a cross stitch, or I believe they call it Victorian. That's another um, word for it. So it gives you the instructions right here, which is perfect. Um, I love that it has that there. And then of course your little key on the back. And then look, here is the canvas itself. So it's pre-printed. Let me put it on the white so you can see it better. Oh, and here are my, comes with two needles. That's great. All right, so here it is. Here's my piece, isn't that so neat? So I'm gonna be going through and stitching with the proper colors. Already, it's not only printed for you, but it's also color coded, which just makes this whole process so much easier. I love that it's color coded. All right, I am super excited to get started. So let's go ahead and thread our needle and get started. All right, I love all this gorgeous yarn that it comes with too. So I decided for the sake of this video, I'm going to begin in this really light tan stripe that goes through here. So all I'm doing is matching that up. I'm looking at the color that they have there and then looking over here and deciding you know, which one it is. And here it says that it's number eight. And so all I did was just look on my card and go, okay, here's eight. Now let me find the color that goes to that. It's that nice pale, creamy yellow color. So I'm just gonna pull that out and then set the yarn aside. And let's go ahead and open up our needle threader. So 
So here's our little needle threader. I'm just gonna slide it through just like that. And hook and pull through. That's kind of neat. I've never seen a needle threader quite like that. Very cool. Another thing that's neat about needlepoint.com and their company is that they actually offer classes in person uh, at their stores in Raleigh, North Carolina and Charleston, South Carolina. So if you are near there, you can actually go and get live in-person classes, which is super cool. Another service they offer is actually finishing your pieces for you. So let's say you finished um, a needle point and you wanted to turn it into an ornament for a gift or for yourself or something like that, they offer those services as well. So make sure you check out their website. They have all kinds of really cool stuff over there. All right, I have my needle threaded. And so what I'm gonna do is just leave a little bit hanging over like that, just to kind of hold on to and make sure it doesn't slide out as we're working. And then I'm gonna just tie a little knot at the very end here. Just like that. Now to begin, we're gonna start by placing our knot um, on the front of the canvas. This is going to be gone eventually, so you don't need to be concerned about it um, being on the front of the canvas or being ugly or whatever. Um, it's going to be gone. I'm going to actually go in way over here just so we have, just so that knot is farther away. So this knot is going to hold things in place so I'll be able to stitch freely without having to worry about the yarn pulling through. We wanna come back through the canvas on this same line that the knot is on. So I'm gonna do it all the way down here, coming up there, and then I'm gonna pull it taut. So I don't know if you can see that, but the yarn is behind that tan area. So the next step for this stitch is going to be to go in the canvas through the top here. And then we're basically gonna pick up one of the, I don't, you wouldn't call it threads, but one of the pieces of the canvas in and then out. Do you see that? Just like that. And then we're gonna pull tight. And then we're gonna come down through the top like that and then skip the part with the with the um, thread or the yarn already there and then pop back out. And that's going to be our first stitch. So then from here, we go back to the top, down and back up again, just like that and pull through nice and taut. And then we go under and we go down and back up again, just like that. And we're just gonna keep going all the way down. That, down here, and pop back up. Perfect. See how it's coming together? So I'm done with that row with that color. So what I'm going to do to finish off and you're going to do this every time you're going to finish a color is we're going to turn our work over and then we are going to secure our yarn through these stitches that we just completed. So we're just going to press through just like this and that's going to secure the yarn and hide it. 
just like that. So you won't even be able to tell from the front that we did that. Just like that. And then we're gonna take a pair of nice sharp scissors and cut really close to where I finished with that thread. And then at this point, we can actually trim the knot portion and pull the knot out. So the knot is gone and we have this beautiful little bit. Let me get closer so you can see, see that, isn't that pretty? So that's just the very beginning. So then let's say, all right, we did that tan. Let's move on to this dark brown color. So um, this isn't the darkest brown, it's like a medium brown. And I would say that is probably, I think that's the number one here. So I'm just gonna hold the yarn up and go, okay, there's my number one that matches. And we will get that threaded on. Get my little needle threader. Okay, so we've got our light brown on. Let's do a little knot at the end, just like before. Okay, now we want to start over here. So I'm just gonna follow this line and put my knot in like somewhere around, like right here should work. And then I'm gonna follow that line all the way down and this is where I'm going to begin I'm gonna come back up through and then I should have a nice straight line all the way across. And then we're gonna begin our stitches. So I'm gonna go into the upper, like the next line up, the next row up and stitch. And by now you've probably got a hang of how this works and can go fairly quickly. It's really simple once you start doing it. It's a great project for beginners. Um, it's not, not hard at all. Like I say, once you get the hang of it, it can be a little intimidating when you're first looking at the project, but once you really see how it's done, it's not hard at all. Make sure that when you pull your yarn, that you pull it nice and um, tight and do that every single time. So that way all of your stitches will be nice and uniform. You don't want some of them to be tight and some of them to be loose. That won't give you a very pretty finished result. So just make sure it's nice and snug. And also when you're going right next to this other color, try to make sure that you don't pierce the yarn. That will kind of give a blurred look on your lines. So make sure that when you're going in and you're coming back out that you are at the very top of your, um, the little opening in the canvas and that you're not going through the light colored yarn that's right next door. That'll just give a better finished look. All right, so I finished that row of the medium brown. So just like before, I'm gonna turn the project over and just kind of weave in my yarn just to lock it in place like that. And then we can, tr then we can trim.
All right, and so you will just continue doing that. You would get the next color or go through and do all the, the light yellow colors if you want, move on to the greens and on and on like that. Thanks so much for watching this video today. I really hope you enjoyed um, just seeing some beginner basics on how to get started with needlepoint, starting, getting your knot going, finishing a color, that kind of a thing. Um, I really hope that you enjoyed seeing that. Don't forget to go check out today's video sponsor, needlepoint.com. They have tons of videos on their website, YouTube channel. They have all kinds of services and things that they offer as well as in-person classes and their um, locations, which are one of them's in Raleigh, North Carolina, and one of them is in Charleston. South Carolina. So uh, make sure to check them out. Go over to their website. Use the discount code Raising Nobles for 15% off your order. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. I would love to know if you would be interested in seeing more needlepoint videos. This is a newer craft uh, that I'm sharing here on my channel. So I'd love to know if you would be interested in seeing more. All right. Thanks so much for watching this video today and I'll see you in our next one. Bye.